Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have discussed several concepts related to AWS step function. And if you want to know those detailed explanations, you can go through the link given in the description box. Okay. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about another very important concept related to AWS step function. And that is the concept of blue green deployment. Okay. So what is that? Let us try to understand first and then we will see how we can perform blue green deployment for our step function. Okay. So blue green deployment is an application release model that gradually transfers user traffic from a previous version of an app or microservice to a nearly identical new release. Okay. And both of which are running in production. So basically transferring the user traffic from older version to newer version in a very smooth way can be done using blue green deployment. Okay. The old version can be called as blue environment while the new version can be known as green deployment. Once production traffic is fully transferred from blue to green, then blue can be in standby situation in case of rollback or pulled from production and updated to become the template upon which the next update is made okay that means blue will be in standby and green will be in running state okay but the transfer of blue to green environment in a very smooth way is termed as blue green deployment so let us try to understand why it is required with respect to step function okay so suppose we are having a step function which is a very simple flow like this here we are starting that and here we are having our lambda function that lambda function is basically checking whether one account number is valid account number or not okay so suppose the correct account number is having the length 8 so the lambda what it will do it will basically check whether in the input request for the account number key whatever value is there that is having the length 8 or not if it is having the length 8 it is basically sending valid so in choice state if it is valid it will go to success state and it, it will end that and if suppose the length is not 8 either less or greater than 8 then it will go to invalid state the lambda will send invalid response and then from the choice state it will go to default and then it will fail the step function okay so ideally the json for this step function looks like this which we can easily generate using visual workflow studio how i generated earlier right so here you can see we are defining our function and here in the choice state important point to be noted here we are defining that if string is valid then we are sending the traffic to success or else we are sending that to fail okay suppose this is our first version of our microservice right now suppose some requirement came and some update happened in our lambda function and now the new lambda what it does if the account number is valid account number if its length is 8 then instead of sending the string valid it basically sends 0 okay and if the account number is not valid suppose the length is greater than or less than 8 then it will send something apart from 0 and then it will go to fail state okay so the json for this kind of new release will look like this the function name we are keeping as it is okay in the choice state here you can see that variable whether string is equal to 0 or not we are comparing okay if it is 0 then we are sending to success if it is not 0 then we are sending to fail flow okay so that's the changes what we are doing as part of our new release right so that is fine earlier we released our first person which is running in production okay the huge traffic it is handling and now we are going to release our this new version where we have changed the logic little bit right now try to understand what problem might appear the problem will appear that our old version is already in production and now we are releasing a new version right now the problem is what will happen to those step functions which are already in running state with the older version and i have just now published a newer version what will happen for them let us try to understand okay so if you consider our older version step function was looking like this that is whether it is valid or not it is checking and suppose it is in running state and now we are making a change in our step function as well as back in that now step function has a property that step function execution are immutable that is suppose you started one step execution and it is in running state in the middle you are changing something then also your execution will happen based on the 
definition whatever we defined while triggering the particular flow the execution will not change in the middle right so step function execution is immutable so for those kind of step functions where the job is running for them still although we have published our new step function in production but in the definition for those execution it will still check whether the response is coming as valid or invalid it will not check 0 or 1 right but here in the lambda function in the back end we have changed in the lambda functions when we have updated that time from valid invalid response we have changed to 0 or 1 right so the lambda will emit 0 or 1 but actually in this particular place it is having the older definition only so obviously the job will fail right because suppose this lambda is changed now it will send either 0 or 1 but in the choice state it is having still the old definition which is checking whether valid or invalid so obviously all the running step executions might fail okay so we need to avoid this kind of scenario what ideally should happen that whatever step functions are running with the old version let them complete with the old version code only and after that whatever new run will be doing that will happen based on our new definition as well as new run and that is blue green deployment right that is blue will handle already running user traffic and after that all the new traffic will be handled by green environment and blue will be in standby mode right that's what the blue green deployment says and how to do that that is very simple here this step function is not making any problem right because whatever step execution is running that definition it is not changing because step executions are immutable for our case the problem is lambda because lambda function we can anytime change okay and suppose one step function is running and in the middle of run we are changing the lambda function so the lambda function will return the response based on the newer version of the code but suppose that we want to avoid we want to make sure that one particular lambda will run with one particular version code only then we can implement lambda versioning because lambda versioning is also immutable right so like here when we are defining step function here in the function name we are not providing version and that way it is always taking the latest version or latest changes okay rather what we can do we can mention here that this particular lambda version only it should consider while running and lambda versions are by default immutable our execution configuration is also immutable and lambda version is also immutable so that way our all the running jobs will run based on the older definition only and all the new traffic will be captured by our new definition okay so let's see that in the practical so i will go to aws management console and first what i will do i will go to lambda and i will create my lambda function here is a very simple lambda what i am doing i am importing json and time and in the lambda handler i am taking the length of the account number field okay and here i am having some slip to have some delay okay and then here i am changing if length is 8 then i am returning valid else invalid that is our first version of our lambda looks like this okay so here i will create a function okay so here blue bling then okay and python i am choosing and here i will create the function right so here what we will do we will paste the code and here we will deploy okay and here we have defined the time dot sleep 200 that is for 200 second it will have a sleep so we need to configure the timeout property for the lambda also accordingly so i will put this four minutes three second and i will save this one okay right and here you will see that it is deployed here i can go to version and I will publish this version so that the code will be immutable for that version. Okay, so here I can give var one. Okay, and here I will publish. Okay, when I am publishing here, see the function ERN is our function name. Then colon one is coming. That means it is version one. And here, if I go to code here, you can see that I cannot change the code. Okay, if I try to do some modifications, I cannot. Okay, that way it is a fixed version we have done. Now in step function we can use this particular lambda ERM that way our older step function definition will use a fixed lambda code only okay if we are publishing new lambda then also it will not switch to new lambda rather all the running step function will use this particular lambda only with what it started running okay right so here we have done and now what i will do i will open aws management console in a new tab and here i will create my step function so i will go to step function here I have already written the definition I will share in the chat also or in the description box so that you can copy from there and do this activity or experiment 
and here I will choose design your workflow visually. I will go to next and then here I will go to next. Here I will delete this particular JSON and paste the new JSON. And now I can go to previous and here you can see already it is created. Okay. All we have to do, we have to put the function ARN. So here I will copy this particular function ARN and here I will paste this one. Okay. So this particular step function will always run with this particular lambda version only. Okay. Right. So here I will go to next and then here I will go to next and here I can give the name as blue green demo yt okay and here I will create state machine okay so here our state machine is created okay now what I will do I will open this lambda in a new tab so that I can modify with the new logic and I will keep my state function also in a new window and make it ready okay so how our new lambda code looks like as per business requirement earlier we were sending valid or invalid based on the length now the same code we will send whether 0 or 1 if valid then we will send 0 or else we will send 1 and here this time time dot slip i have reduced little bit that is fine so that i can show you the demo properly and now what i will do i will deploy my second version okay so here i will go and here i will go to this lambda code i can delete this one and i can paste okay so 0 1 and here i can deploy okay so this is the latest version so now what i can do in the configuration it is already 4 minutes 3 seconds i can publish my this new version also as var 2 okay so here we are having two version of the code one is basically version 1 one is basically our version 2 okay right so now let's see how everything is working what we will do we will start the execution okay so here i can give the name account number as i will give it 8 length account number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. okay so this particular step function will run with our older version lambda code okay that is version 1 so here we have started the execution okay so it is started now what i will do already i have deployed my version to lambda i will take my new definition of step function and here i will go to edit state machine i will just remove this one and paste my new version of code in the function i will paste the function ARN for my new lambda okay and here i will save this one save anyway and then here i will start the execution and here i will pass account number as one two three four five six seven eight nine. okay so this particular step function will run with our new lambda code basically here if you see there are two step function is running first one which we triggered at 1 1 29 pm and next one this is running at 1 2 0 4 pm okay this is running with the new lambda code this is running with the old lambda code and old step function logic okay so if i just refresh here it failed for some reason let's see why so here it went to fail state because here it basically returned one so what is this step input we have given let's see here you can see here we have given nine length okay so i can again start a new execution with eight length and i can start the execution and if i go to state machine here you can see our older one is still running because older lambda was having 200 second sleep and here our new version is successful okay so if i go here it reached to success because this time we have given the input having account number of length 8 okay even you can check here the individual task status okay so here you can see that we have passed 1 to 8 and here all the lambda code whenever it is calling it is calling the lambda version 2 okay right and that's why it is successing and if you see our first execution whatever we started it is still running here here if you see that step input was here also it was 9 then so it will fail but actually this is running as per old definition okay not new definition right so that way here we are basically running both version older blue environment and green environment simultaneously in production blue one is running old customers and from now onwards whatever new customers will be coming they will basically be getting executed using the new step function okay so to make sure our older step function is not failing we have to make sure while defining the lambda we will mention the version because whenever you are publishing a lambda version the code become immutable okay see the beauty and that's what is termed as blue green deployment okay 
So still our old version lambda code is running. Let it run. Here basically this lambda will return whether the outcome is valid or invalid, not 0 or 1. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Here you can see it reached to fail state, right? If you go to choice block and in the input, if you go here, you will see invalid. Okay, but our lambda in new release we have we are returning 0 or 1, right? If you don't specify the version, then while running the step function itself, it will be picking up the latest lambda code, which is basically returning 0 or 1. And in the choice state, here we are asking to check whether it is valid or invalid. Okay, so that way it will get confused with new lambda code and old step function definition. So to avoid that, we are making sure the complete step is executing based on old version of code only. So lambda code is also should be older one or earlier one. So that's why we are mentioning the version. Okay. And because here we have defined account number as 9 lens, obviously as expected, it's fit, right? So I hope you understood the blue-green deployment. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.